Hi, I'm Matthew Cotto. I'm a PhD student in Speciation Genomics at Imperial College London, and I want to talk to you about the plant phenotyping experiments that I've been carrying out here at the National Plant Phenotyping Infrastructure at the University of Helsinki, all of which has been made possible by an EPPN 2020 Transnational Access Grant. My PhD research is aiming to identify genes which have facilitated speciation in the Howia palms. These are two sister species of palm tree, which are found only on the tiny Lord Howe Island of Australia, where they have diverged from a common ancestor due to preferences in soil type and differentiated flowering times. They are particularly interesting because they have undergone sympatric speciation. That is, they have diverged in the presence of gene flow and without any geographical barriers. Strong evidence for this type of speciation is rare, and very little evidence exists of a specific genetic mechanism which could facilitate this speciation. The phenotyping experiments I am carrying out at the University of Helsinki hope to change this. We have identified a series of candidate genes which may have been involved in the speciation process by simultaneously affecting both soil stress tolerance and flowering time in Hawaii palms, but the function of these genes needs to be investigated further. To do this, I am growing around 2,000 of the model plant species Arabidopsis thaliana at the Finnish National Plant Phenotyping Infrastructure. I'm using a range of mutants with homologues of our candidate Howia genes knocked out and growing them in the presence of multiple soil stress treatments, such as drought, high salt and high cadmium levels, conditions which mirror those found on Lord Howe Island. The facilities here allow me to impose highly controlled environmental conditions and allow me to gather an incredible amount of highly detailed phenotyping data. Through automated imaging using RGB infrared and chlorophyll fluorescence cameras, I've been able to carry out analysis of traits such as plant shape, size and colour, alongside measures of plant temperature and photosynthetic function, which allow me to investigate the fine scale stress response of a huge number of plants. By combining this soil stress tolerance data with analysis of flowering time, I've been able to identify genes which could have facilitated sympatric speciation in Howia palms, providing key evidence of a plausible genetic mechanism for sympatric speciation. This work would not have been possible without access to these superb phenotyping facilities, made available to me through an EU EPPN 2020 Transnational Access Grant, which I was fortunate enough to hear about through colleagues in my field. Thank you for watching, and thank you to my collaborators at the University of Helsinki for all of their hard work throughout the entire project.